I had pressure in the back of my head and I went to my primary care doctor and they started treating me for a sinus infection. And so as I finished the medications that they prescribed me, I was still having pressure in the back of my head. And then I procrastinated before I went back to my primary care doctor to find out why I was still having the pressure in my head. Dawn is a mid-30s mother who presented with headaches, and they were headaches consistently on the right side of her frontal region and her head. Because of her symptoms, her primary care physician ordered a head CT. After obtaining her head CT, Dawn came to see me and we further investigated with an MRI and I found that she had a brain tumor. He sat down with us, I think we were there for about an hour and a half, told me that it is a brain tumor, where it's located, and got a fake model of a skull and went in and showed me, it even had the little brackets that's now in my head holding my skull together after he cut a hole in it and explained the whole surgery process, what would happen. Because Dawn is an active mother and a busy caretaker, we wanted to do something minimally invasive that kept her out of the hospital. We formulated a treatment plan to take out her tumor through a small two-inch incision using minimally invasive techniques. We used what's called vector vision. Vector vision is like a GPS for the brain where we can digitize uh, someone's brain to any kind of instrument in the OR and so we know where we are real time within the brain and within the tumor at all times. Immediately, as soon as I woke up out of anesthesia, the, that was the first thing I said to my husband is all the pressure in my head is gone. I was in the hospital for two days. I really thought I was gonna go home the next day, but because it's brain surgery, they wouldn't let me, but I was up walking around the next day. I love Dr. Caterini. I think that he really um, did an excellent job with my surgery. I was never in any pain. I was able to get off my medications. He's very professional, always very easy to talk to, very good bedside manners. <laughs>